Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and in this video I am going to show you how to create a new menu item in Joomla. So taking a look at the website we've been working on for the past couple of tutorials, you can see that I've got one main menu item and that main menu item links straight to the home page. So we don't have any other menu items over here. And I thought to myself, well, since we made this article in the previous tutorial, wouldn't it be great if we could create a link in our menu to that article? So that's what we're going to go ahead and do in this tutorial. And then I'm also going to show you how to create a link to an external website as well. Now the first thing we need to do is jump over to the back end of our website and let me just go ahead and make sure that I haven't timed out or anything. And I actually have, so let me just log in. And now I can go over to menus, menu manager, and over here I can see that I've got a couple different menus. And my main menu over here is actually the one I'm interested in. And you can see that we've got one published uh, menu item. So if I go ahead and click on that menu, I can see that the one published menu item that I have is actually my link to my home page, which is exactly what's showing up over here. So now let's take a look at how to create a new menu item. And all we have to do is go ahead and click new. Okay. And the first thing I need to do here is give my menu item a title. And this is actually uh, the word that will show up in our menu item. So if I go ahead and say first article, then that will be what my, uh, those will be the words that display on my menu item on the front end. Okay. Alias, I'll leave to auto generate. Menu item type is where we select what type of menu item we want to add. So if I go ahead and click select over here, you can see that I've actually got a window with a whole bunch of stuff that I could choose from. And Joomla gets really clever about some of these links and uh, a lot of them we might not ever use, but uh, I'll leave that up to you guys to decide when you might want to use one of these or not. Uh, but right now we're going to select just to an article and I want to select or link to a single article. So this is the link that I want to use and I'm going to go ahead and select that. Okay. And now I have a link to a single article, but I still need to choose which article I want to link to. And that is what we do over here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my first article, which is the article we made in the previous tutorial. Okay. And here it just gives me like what the link is going to be. Uh, then I've also got the target window, which I'll leave as parent. So you don't want to go ahead and change that template. You want to use default most of the time, uh, unless you want to get really fancy and have some parts of your website look different to others, which I think would actually be kind of annoying. It's not something that people go for these days. So you might as well just keep that at default. Okay. Menu location. This is pretty much where you want this menu item to be. And we want it to be in the main menu. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave that as is. Um, then go parent item. Uh, we'll leave that as the main root item. So we're not going to deal with uh, any child menu items or anything like that. Okay. Uh, ordering I'm going to leave uh, as is. And actually I can't select ordering until this has actually been saved. So um, I'll save it, but I still won't change anything once that's done. Status will leave us published so that it shows up in the front end. Unpublished means we won't be able to see it in the front end and trashed will obviously delete it. Default page will leave at no access. We want everyone to be able to see this link. So we'll leave that at public and uh, language will leave at all. So basically don't change any of the other settings. Just choose your menu item and choose the uh, article you want to link to. And I'm going to go ahead and click save. And you'll see that I've now got an alias that was auto generated. Okay. And pretty much everything else is still the same. 
uh, except for ordering that has obviously changed a little bit because now we can choose an order although I'm gonna leave that as is okay and now when I come to the front end and click refresh you can see that I now have a home link and I have a link to my first article which if I click on that we go through to the article that we made in the previous tutorial so that's pretty cool and now we can actually take a look at how to add a link to an external web page so I'm gonna go back over to uh, the back end of Joomla over here and I'm actually just gonna close this link that we were working with previously and I'm gonna create a new link okay and I'll give this a link of YouTube or a title of YouTube and we'll link this to my YouTube channel so what I need to do here is under menu item type is go over to system links and external URL and that is how I link to an external website so basically a web page that doesn't actually exist on my current website being just Joomla 33 okay so let me go ahead and link to that and I have to put in the full URL which would be HTTP colon slash slash www dot youtube dot com slash Quinton Watt okay and target window leave it parent template style you know, you'll leave that as well and all of this stuff will leave as default again as well so let's go ahead and click save okay and come back here and click refresh and you can see that now I've got a link to my YouTube page and if I click on that I go through to my YouTube channel so how awesome is that take a look at this I have 22,435 subscribers and that is quite crazy because that means I've grown quite a lot in the past year or two years that I've actually been doing YouTube so this is pretty awesome and uh, I just thought I'd mention that okay and then if we go back over to uh, the our website again and I maybe just go over to my menu items let me show you what ordering does okay so now that this has been saved I can actually pick an order and you can see that uh, we've got first home YouTube or first article YouTube and last article and this just means that I can now select a point where I want this menu item to appear and right now it appears as the third link so one two three okay if I want it to appear before my second link which happens to be first article then I need to go ahead and click on first article and click save and that's actually gonna swap them okay so if I come back here and click on refresh uh, okay maybe I was wrong about that maybe I need to click on home and then click save okay so maybe it appears after the one I select yeah okay cool so uh, what I had to do there was select home in my ordering and that made it appear after home okay if I want YouTube to appear first I could go ahead and click or uh, choose first and then I could also go ahead and choose last if I want YouTube or this YouTube link to be the last menu item and that is pretty much how to deal with menu items and uh, that's all I have for you in this video so I will see you guys next time